John Daly, the ABCs of paying your bill by phone. After a dinner in London the other week, with younger acquaintances, I unexpectedly experienced the fresh wind of progress. When the bill arrived, the total was calculated per head, plus tip. The entire table offered their smartphones as payment. I was the only one extending cash. Inquiring what banks they all used, my ears prickled to hear a list of names unknown to me, including Revolut, Monzo, Fidor, Alipay, Newbank, Chime, and WeChat. These are neobanks, financial institutions that have no physical branches, their customers access them via mobile apps and personal computer platforms. Also known as challenger banks, these flexible upstarts are aiming to break the monopoly of the established titans, whose acronym names adorn every major thoroughfare in the land. Emerging from the burgeoning financial technology sector, where finance and technology have fused to deliver consumer services in banking, insurance and investing, the neobank is fast gathering popular traction amongst a younger, tech-savvy demographic. Advances in IT connectivity and the widespread growth of smartphones allow clients to open accounts via the internet, without the need to ever physically visit a bank. Linking your account to the phone effectively transforms the mobile into a digital wallet, enabling transactions and payments without the need for card or cash. Fingertip connectivity gives cheaper and faster banking experiences, said one of my dining companions. Traditional banks are changing to try to keep up, but they're not doing it fast enough. Neobanks offer the advantages of speed, choice, convenience, and remote access from anywhere with a Wi-Fi signal. Without the need for the physical infrastructure of a branch network, they can offer competitive deals and more personalized services. We stand on the brink of a technological revolution that will fundamentally alter the way we live, work, and relate to one another, says Klaus Schwab, founder and executive chairman of the World Economic Forum, which is best known for its annual Davos gathering. In its scale, scope, and complexity, the transformation will be unlike anything humankind has experienced before, he says. The Economist details how the first industrial revolution used steam power to mechanize production. The second revolution harnessed electric power to create mass production, and the third integrated electronics and information technology in automating production. The fourth industrial revolution is building on a digital era characterized by a fusion of technologies that is blurring the lines between the physical, digital, and biological spheres. The speed of current breakthroughs has no historical precedent, and is evolving at an exponential, rather than a linear, pace, disrupting almost every industry in every country says Mr. Schwab. Over the past th for more on this story, visit the news article link.